Good morning. Or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> so I think we had this running last time. Uh, actions. Successful run. <clears throat> so in order to get a release, we need to have the upload URL. And I'm wondering if instead of... I didn't even have that in here, did I? Uh, did the Windows one do it? Oh, you just don't show dot .files. Yeah, you had steps, quick stop put. <clears throat> so I've not done this stuff yet. And I've been, I was thinking that I'd have to create the release and then do the builds, but then if the builds failed, you've got a release hanging out there. I was wondering, <clears throat> since I'm going to have to, so I eventually want to do a version check anyway, so we can have it running for <clears throat> base game updates. Could I have, well, okay, so we're already doing a file name output. Compose file name. Can I have the release run? Well, essentially, it would have to upload to S3, then the upload job would have to create release download both of the things from S3 and then upload them. But I think that gives you a better setup where it only does a release when things are successful. At which point everything should work and you shouldn't have to worry about creating releases again. I Does it document what it does if it already really already exists? No, it's uploading an asset. Maybe create at least endpoint documents what it does if it exists. Nope. <laughs> well, at some point we're going to find that out. <clears throat> so test version was the test of this. which just did a file report as a test. The full version jobs test. So the job outputs from its steps. Uh, and that was using, okay, so we can't actually do the test yet. <clears throat> because that is itself an S3 thing. <laughs> 
but we can have this. Last version, data version. Right, so that's the that's the fetch of a file. <clears throat> ID data version echo blah blah blah. So we've been, essentially have two of these to get the current version and set that as the versions. Then later steps could refer to that in terms of what versions we are targeting. And eventually we will want <clears throat> uh, the build steps. To have like a Hmm. And then I actually I could compose those. We would just simply we, we could actually just to see if it's the same. If needs dot. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, hmm. Actually, I could see this being in a a test version because at some point, and I've already I think I've already built the output files. Uh, workflows. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna have steps. We don't actually have last version yet. So check out one life. Hmm. For just version checking, I guess the paths were whatever. Oh, so it's not going to be, it's going to be steps dot. One life. And this is just a report. And once we have those versions, this shouldn't be a big deal. Well, we're gonna get data releases that <clears throat> release stuff there. Now this one actually is the local repository.
I guess if we do that first to some path. Now does this change my directory? Seems like if you self check out self, it often does that. Uh, so this is a slightly different command. For the patch repository, I do believe. Version number. And then we use that to compose the file name. <clears throat> so properly speaking, that might actually be... Right, so we were counting on that thing, one of the scripts to write that out. Uh, and that won't need the tags. Oh, that's right. We said that the indentation had gotten in for some reason. Oh, no. I copied from a file that was that way. Hmm. Uh, no, I copied from a file that was that way. Uh, and the report would really be both of them at the end, I think. So that actually comes down to effectively this tag, which is in a different repository, that is in here. So that is this command. Wait, what? This looks like an oopsie. I don't think it's a particularly harmful oopsie, but it should still get cleaned up. All right, well, we can come back to you later. Except I need that command. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, any of the others will work. Yeah, this only has one, so that was something weird happened there. It's game client. Oh, this is Windows client. All right, that's reading it. <clears throat> Mac OS X, setting it, reading it. Once, once, once. Writing it, reading it. Reading it, reading it. Yeah, it appears to be just this one. Also, it's also... No, that's different. Hashtag set version. All right, so we're not outputting to here, we're just doing this. So patch outputs version. One life outputs version. And we'll need last steps of these. Man, those are actually our versions, aren't they? For the purposes I need, do I need those separately? <clears throat> and I'm not going to use them in the direct build process. Because we've kind of got stock scripts for that. Is it 10? Windows client, <clears throat> game client version. That outputs that version, patch version, compose file name. So I could even, well, no, because I'd, we include the Windows or not Windows in there. We could compose the dot version number. Version dot version. Now the V is still uncertain.
That's really all we need to know. And maybe this ends up being, <clears throat> we'll have that and we'll have some sort of latest version. You could test for the existence of the output files. That would probably mean everything's okay. <laughs> Or maybe test for the existence of the of a release by that name. Well, right now it was versions not equal. It's a test we can do. I'd have to work out how to do, you know, check for do we run in later later steps. It'll certainly be a surface checkout. Okay, uh, report. Okay, it looks like we did not get the game client version. We did get patches correctly. <clears throat> oh. This one did need a repository. Was it minus C? Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no, you say one life. Okay, so this is where I have the... One of my test scripts had a fire reported thing in it. Which is messy, but complete.
All right, so One Life. One Life has all of that stuff. Documentation directories. But overall, the file structure seems to be what I think it should be. So why is this command failing? Well, I guess this is where we have to check if it's the command or the glue. Oh, because I copied game client version and then, then over something I was originally going to call One Life. Uh, mm. So other places I've been doing this, expect that. Patch for, well, patch version dot, but yeah. Uh... Is it buffer 11? <clears throat> so actually, that's going to be batch came for output dot number. This is going to be just a number. Oh, but then this would be like game client by extension. So we probably don't need file report. Okay, that seems reasonable. <clears throat> so we think we have already built test binaries for this. So we would want to be doing, so this will be one, one job. Once we figure out how to check for already exists, which I guess could be release, assuming that we only do that when things are reasonably successful. We want to get this stuff. Uh, 
Oh, target commit-ish. I'm going to have to do a full download of... Patches. Because <laughs> either you have to be... To, uh... Either release has to check out the entire thing, or our test version has to check out the entire thing. And it's already checked out some of it. <clears throat> mm. I sort of understand why they made that backspace, but it's so easy to get the focus wrong. Zero indicates all history. For patches, we could probably do like 10. It usually doesn't take that many to get something well, no, right now we've got the whole actions thing, so the actual releases are going to be way the heck back. Uh, what is that? With? Fetch depth. I don't know if that gets me the tags or not. Oh, uh, I think that if you do the base checkout, it does current directory. So I probably don't even need Gitter. Uh, we just called it patch here. And I did not paste anything else in here yet. But we're gonna have to do test runs anyway. Uh, so we had to get the commit-ish. So we're not sure what create release is gonna do with the same release. 
Although maybe we had to change the... Oh. I might actually have to do... Um, rerun the Windows build. To make sure that that has the latest version. Then we're going to build Neo. Doesn't say it. Doesn't, uh, okay. Yep, 71. So this is technically not up to date. In terms of our version numbers. <clears throat> well, I guess we need to figure out what this does. And then we need to figure out upload download. So you are going to be a separate job. You yourself have no outputs, but you need steps. So this is going to be is it jobs. It's needs. Okay, so we have to say needs. Needs test. Uh, and then you are needs dot test dot outputs. Oh, name equals. Okay, so actually it is. It is Shaw. Kmitish. Uh, needs dot test dot outputs. Mod version. Actually, this one will be fine because we won't have a dot seventy four, I don't think. All right, how are you doing? Two minutes ago, it is successful and has a duration, so I guess that's done. <clears throat> so do I do any yes for like that kind of fetching? Does that mean I should compose all the file names in test as well? because I'm going to have to use them in in uh, in here steps.zip.outputs.file name Okay, so that step of zip is actually compose file name. Uh, well, the release jobs does have to depend on all the other jobs. 
So having all of them set their own file name probably makes more sense, but we don't have those yet. So the task name that this comes from will change. We can probably arrange the rest to be similar. Uh, <clears throat> so this would be steps.mod.outputs.version. And what was I doing for you? Uh, One Life Mac OS X. And then <clears throat> hmm. I'm just trusting that they've got curl. So create a release. I guess if this were to fail, uh, we would want to not create the release. Uh, did I have a bucket set up for this? Or a v bucket variable? aws.s3.bucket Oh, you actually had a domain name. So I need to know, well, that would be any of my public URLs. which we would have I include that in here Okay. And this we've got, so this is needs dot windows file dot 
no, needs.test.outputs.windows file. This might end up just being file name and I get the other ones. And I was renaming it in that case. I don't think I'm renaming it in this case. Oh, uh, and how about the file name? Oh no, because I proposed the complete file name. Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Oh. I could use artifact storage for this, maybe. But I've, I'm already uploading it anyway, so it's just another download. You need an ID? You don't necessarily need an ID. Steps not create least that outputs the upload URL, asset path. <laughs> Needs dot test. Uh, Windows file. I don't think I need this. All right, um, let's test. Actually, I'm going to have to like move this to like test release and then have a test version. Uh, or just doing, we're not actually doing anything with it when we get to that stage. Wait. I'm sup jobs test. Did I get my indent wrong? Oh yeah, that is not the latest version. Oh, did I forget to push? Yes.
Ooh, okay, syntax error. Well, and they have like no useful reporting on this at all. So all you can do is start commenting things out and see when it stops breaking. I guess I have to try to run it once. Okay, so it's somewhere up here. What did we add? We add, added some file name composes. We added some commitish. Okay, uh, so let's commit ish is looking promising here. Yep. And this is why I kind of hate GitHub-based workflows. Or Git-based workflows, I guess. It's just all these little stupid tiny commits. Uh, check out one life, get game planet version, fetch tags, get find version number. Did I change fetch depth? I may have changed fetch depth too. So a whole bunch of stuff up here. We doubled mod version. I don't... Maybe that's an error? <laughs> okay, that's not it. So we've got all those outputs. We've got fetch depth. Maybe I misunderstood that syntax. And then since it was invalid, it runs on push. <laughs> All right, we need an example of using that option. That looks right to me.
Oh, but it's a string. Well, okay, that was a silly little error. Uh, now, unfortunately, this the commenting YAML really, really stinks on the syntax side. Okay, all that stuff's really fast. And we'll see if we've got any syntax errors here. Okay, so it didn't even put that job up because it needed the previous one. <laughs> okay, so create release. Seems like it succeeded. No such file or directory. So we're going to have to do that little file report thing again. See you... Did like curl just download it as output or what? So this is awkward because the curl test, well, did curl success actually download? Uh, there was no output, so... Okay. Uh, oh, access denied. Oh, does curl need the dash O to even write it out? I mean, this is actually useful for debugging right now.
yeah, I need the command line reference. So does O just change the output file name or does it actually tell it to write to a file? Or is it dump only on error? At zero. Well, there's a lot of options. Progress meter. Or just be post put. Instead of standout. Okay, so once we get it working, we need to do that. Uh, that would have released with error reports, so I guess that's just as well. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, shoot, that was a successful request with an error code, wasn't it? It doesn't like print the status code or anything. Well, uh, I don't have that up anymore. Let's patch the master. Okay, so so it is it is four oh three. This job succeeded. Surely there's an option to do that. HTTP status code. Fail silently on server errors. To do better deal with failed attempts. There's an HTML document. I'm outputting that and return error 22. The non-successful response codes will slip through. So it sounds like we want dash fail. But well, let's fail silently. I like I'd like it to print the response. It should be status code. Fail early. Multiple transfers. Yeah, it's a little bit different. FTP, FTP. Retry. When used with silent. Silent or quiet mode. Disable progress meter, and we could try show error.
any uh, cert status. And we're back to fail early. Yeah, this doesn't even mention the show errors thing, though. But that should make it return a status code, which will stop the job if we can't get a file. <clears throat> Hopefully it still reports that. Let's fail early. Fail silently. And I guess if you're, oh, and we had to do minus O to the same file name. So now our problem is that these scripts are not uploading public. Uh, so our original well, upload was inside the Docker. S3 command config dash P. So that's what we've been missing. So that is actually in here. All right, so we've got, well, we've got source control. Oh. Rerunning this would have created a release. And then Mac OS X, uh, was that buffer four? And we need to have these files there in order to test the upload progress process. I mean, eventually you'll, we'll have to stitch it all together. For now, we're just going to be testing the one little thing. And those take what, like a minute to run? Two minutes to run? Now, I don't know that re-uploading with public will fix that. 
maybe it would go with the first permissions it got. In which case, we just go fix it, I guess. Is this an actual line? This is an actual line. So maybe we can do something with the GitHub API to test if there's a release, but I don't know if there's going to be an action for that. Which would put you back to some curl stuff. Okay. <sighs> okay, so there's the drafts. GitHub action drafted this one minute ago. Two assets. Oh, it's actually doing multiple drafts of this. So we are going to have to do manual cleanup. So that's a relatively complete one. We're going to get a new one every time. <clears throat> so that's working fairly well. So what do we need to stitch it together? We need to make this test release. We need to have a test version uh, that has some way to determine if it's already exists. Uh, right now I have to re-edit, test version, which has become buffer 13. So we want you to just be our Just be our dummy. <sighs> so what can I test to determine? So either the release step has to write something out, you know, the, a file I put on S3 or something. 
Uh, and having a latest version text might not be terrible. And then we could download that and compare it to the mod version. Or we would have to do something with the release itself. Create release when a new release is published. Add release notes. Roll back and get release tag. Release prep. Fresh build assets available. Upload build artifacts, validate and handle, release creator, release file, some ver, publish a draft release. Download release assets. The version number of a release branch. Download an asset. I mean, that would sort of be a way to check if it exists. Try to download an asset. Collect releases from other repos. Download any files. Fetch the latest GitHub release. What does that mean? What does it return? Oh, output. Okay, so this is in effect the GitHub API. Assets URL. Um, repo path. The latest GitHub release. What would we be looking for there? Tag name, name, now that is going to be V, so I'd have to compose that to be able to equal it. Okay, it does in fact have an ID. So this is going to be outputs dot blah 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 blah. Uh, 
does this work? Actions check out. So this is <clears throat> this is going to be <laughs> another. So this would probably be would this still be in our information gathering stage? Well, every other job is going to have to test this. So I think it would be. So it's going to be something sort of like this. Really? Why? With, I removed all that stuff from here. Is it with or? I guess it's with. And default the current repo. Well, I mean, it is something that I used just because I already had stuff there and I was already paying them a little bit. I did see somebody do a website set up on GitLab and it looked like they were basically just a way to run Docker containers from what I could tell, which was kind of nice. Uh, not having to mess with curl to get this is, may also be kind of nice. K8s, no. Yeah, I know I've run across it a few times. <clears throat> you know, in conference talks and things, but I never had to solve the problems it solved, so it never stuck. All right, and the thing we're looking to output... Now, this is just so I can possibly assemble some things here. So the thing it's going to be comparable to is this. Yeah, auto scaling is one of the things that I was kind of. I guess what when I wanted was like Heroku for Docker containers, where you paid f for runtime only. And then you could like kind of kick off some scheduled tasks and things. Uh, so my interpretation of that is you'd have to have one EC2 probably running some kind of master, and then it would be scaling Kubernetes on a bunch of others. Uh, 
What am I doing with this? Uh, well, it would be, uh... That is indeed V, that is indeed V. So right now I'm only using that in a V context anyway. Well, I guess I'm, I'm, one of the things I was looking for was a way to run like scheduled and triggered jobs at a, you know, pay only what you, for what you use model. And with EC2, even when I shut the box down, you still had the block storage that was backing it, and that that's its own little charge. Uh, I was making presumptions about how Kubernetes would have to work. Uh, which, you know, if you've got some sort of management system, there would have to be something that was actually running the management system, unless maybe there's a third-party service that will run that for you. Well, I need to test this command right now. <clears throat> uh, so that will get it into this step. But it's step, stop, blah, 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 blah. So that will be the outputs from this step. So we need to have release version, steps.current, release.output name or tag should be the same the way I'm using it. Uh, needs dot test dot outputs dot release version. It's not a file report. Uh, and we are testing whether we can get that. Any kind of... Okay. That is... Nice. I, su I suppose it's managing, and I, I can see how web servers would scale. I, I guess it like is running some sort of like clustered Postgres or something, or maybe doing a one write many read setup. Yeah, so those wouldn't be able to scale. Yeah. Oh, I probably forgot. So maybe those got collapsed. Okay, because this wasn't tracked. Um, so 
So the test version actually probably was uh, our new test version. Ooh. Okay. I mean, really. But they don't give you the syntax. Oh, it uses. So here's the. Yeah, here's the. Here's the usage example. And it messed up my indent. Oh no, he had he had a steps in it. Uh, fetch latest release. Oh, did I remove mine? I guess I did. This is test release. First of all, all right, here's the main thing. I'm, it doesn't seem different. Wait, why is my... Oh my gosh. Why are you, why is everything terrible? Oh, maybe I had a bad... I swear I copied that from somewhere, though. So that seems a little bit better. But this might be just another broken action. I had a lot of those when I was looking at the S3 stuff, too. It's like half of them don't do downloads, half of them are just broken. <laughs> I just ended up putting an S3, S3 command in my Docker container. Yep, it's just broken. Well, actually, we can see that there's no issues. Make GitHub token optional. Action could not be found. Oh, now you see, you don't have a, a V1 tag. 
the the official GitHub actions did. Oh, that was it. It doesn't really release, it's just more of a, did we get the information over? Okay, so that is in fact a V. And now that's the last published release, which I guess I'll kind of work for me. We can keep on uh, running things until we decide to switch it over. Uh, but it looks like we're going to want to switch this over to be V. And where was my test? Needs.test.outputs dot mod version dot release version. Uh, I was doing capitals on these others. Output outputs. That output worries me. Set output, okay. Test version. So it has to start to, oh, it actually is different right now. Uh, is it 70 versus 74? <clears throat> All right, so this stuff and really into this stuff. Hmm. 
So we've seen this stuff work before. Uh, mod version is slightly different now. <clears throat> All right, so we actually need We can actually start putting things together. Uh, All right, so Windows client. Yeah, kind of had some hooks there for that. You only had one thing yourself. See, that's the release. That has to come later. That's actually going to depend on some other things. Um, that was going to be Windows. That is going to be the same expression as here. And I have to look up the multi multi job syntax. Actually, I guess, well. That's interesting. Does release, if the other, if the needed jobs get skipped, it might be sufficient. Well, you're, you're using the file names. Oh, but we wanted to switch those over to these things, file names anyway. Uh, and then it may only depend on those. And then Mac OS X client. Needs test. And then release. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Figuring and managing workflows. No. Workflow syntax. Okay, so in this example, most complete before job two begins. Now these are the jobs, needs. Jobs three waits for both job one and job two to complete. So we want an array, basically. We test uh, Windows file name, Mac OS X file name, 
mod version, mod version. I can still depend on test. That's fine. We don't have to get the commit ish again. But then once we do that, why, why, why bother recomposing file names? Well, you, you have to recompose file names anyway. Uh, unless I have a job output for it right now? Yeah. Uh, but actually, you were only for release, so I don't have to do that in the test step if we have it from there. Wait, why did I do... Oh, target commit is because that thing was already downloading the repository, whereas this thing did, whereas the release thing did not have to download the repository. So I'm presuming that if those jobs get skipped, we don't technically need a test here. Okay, so you were composing file names, but we, our other jobs are already composing file names. Uh, we do need an output section though. Uh, and yours gonna be file name, right? Steps. Dot zip. And then Mac OS X. So you need <clears throat> Commitish mod version we have to come up with anyway. Oh, nope, that's, that's both windows. Asset name, asset path. Oh, and we're still, eh, we can run it once in draft mode. And then we flip everything over after we see if that all works. Uh, what I might want to start doing is working out the test file names. Because if I try to change that and the draft mode thing at the same time, you could get into a weird state. And I think the builds are actually going to be okay at this point.
Oh, well, I guess I didn't actually need to modify test release that much. Uh, and push. <clears throat> I guess it's a good time to get water. I'll be back in a little bit. Nope. Now, there was something about these deploying at, at, at uh, inappropriate times. What was it? Uh, was it? No, I guess that's only on the ground. Oh. <laughs> okay, this would be a lot. Little bit here. I'm behind the tree. I kill you like a proper thing. Okay, this would work. A uh, lot more berry bushes. No, I didn't. I, I just happened to be very close to where she spawned, apparently. Gone. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. No, I'm not. Because no, I'm. Oh my God! What it just happened? Okay, we're just gonna ignore that that happened. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, <laughs> it was supposed to be the brush, and instead of clicking the brush, it clicked everything. Um. <laughs> wow! I don't know how we're gonna. Come behind the tree. All right. Uh, where did they put that again? Tags? Draft with two assets. All right, so one thing I was just thinking about. Where's all my old... Ah, the ta okay, so this is V, this is test. The problem, I think, is that I was looking for things named V on the tags. So I probably need to... These are tags. Maybe only published releases create tags. Uh, where is <clears throat> release tag name? Okay, so I guess it hasn't actually pu published the tag until it's not draft. I already have the V in there. So we need something like that to make sure we don't confuse our other systems. <clears> 
Huh. Right, and those things have the the tag names. Like well, I can probably edit it, but it might be nice to see everything actually run here. And then we can see if this does in fact skip when the other jobs don't run. And I was checking the name, not the tag, so that won't change our match. Oh, I guess I still have to do real trigger conditions. <laughs> so we'll run that. We will go clean up the drafts. So I suppose we don't have that many. Is there anything else we need to do? Oh, trigger conditions. So that one was only gonna be scheduled once we tested it out. This one can be on tag and on some kind of similar schedule. <laughs> Uh, events and triggers. <clears throat> on push, push pull request. On certain branches. <laughs> Creates a branch or tag created. Well, I guess tags have to be a little bit careful about because it's creating its own tags. I mean, push might be sufficient. Schedule. Manual Can you specify create tag? Creates a branch or tag Creates a deployment Release event occurs. Yeah. I guess it would have to be 
run at any time a branch or tag is created. What? <clears throat> and I'm hopefully not going to have that many branches. We also have the self-reference question. Okay. Four days ago, three newer tags. Hmm, that's odd. I guess I did, I did sort of like mess with the tags afterwards. Maybe the tags themselves are newer than the commit it's actually based on. Uh, you have action on tag created. Yeah, that's not useful. I swear somewhere in here I saw an example that was kind of based around this. On push, schedule, on push, manual. On, hmm, includes the test. Uh, so actually this is like details of on push. You have no detail. But this example, wherever that was, as on push branches tags paths. Where's that documented? Maybe it's in the on. Okay, so it's, it's on dot. On push, on push pull request. Oh, on event name, so those are the event names. Oh, so maybe I can do like create, can you do patterns? If the event for the release resource, well, you have to know the things per resource. On push.tags, tags and accept glob patterns. Push events to branches matching release. Push events to the 1.0, 1.0. Okay, so we could do tags V star <clears throat> for a new tag there. On push tags V star and some kind of fallback schedule for JSON releases. Which we still have to watch because of errors, but. Oh, 
And this might be another thing where I want to keep it manual for like one release. And actually, I don't know if this should be five, oh, 05 or 5. Just to pick the current time as I oh, it updated as a random random offset, so it's not all running on the hour. All right, uh, da, 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 da. now what, what do we have here? Uh, this is probably only current branch. We did that. So either, I merge with this. Or we squash all this stuff into master. Since it's a lot of a lot of noise. Did I ever do limited versions on this? Okay, I guess I ended up removing the depth arguments from all of these. Fe oh no, that would have been in the fetch latest. Let's say close that. Minor gems to 10. That's, that's the only thing that survived the depth on it. Okay, so that shouldn't be an issue. And just in case you need a push to work things. Uh, branches. All right, so whenever we get some updates, uh, I might be able to test the client stuff on my own things tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, whenever we get some data updates, we'll test the, um, the one tech rebuild. When we get code updates, we'll test that rebuild.
And hopefully we're, well, no, we're not done with this. <laughs> because somebody actually asked about a Linux version. Uh, so that would be back to Docker to get a build environment, but it should be a pretty simple one. Because you don't have all the crazy cross-compiler stuff. The big problem with that is going to be testing. I'm going to need a GUI-capable box to test on. GUI apps. Third-party display manager, Windows X. Okay, so the idea is you run something against an X server. Will games work on an X server? And then we've got some setup stuff. Oh, is that a virtual desktop? Oh, that lets you like get the get this stuff. Okay. Well, they're showing some Minecraft stuff. Uh, now, it might be weird for, like, sound and things. Uh, I might actually just want to run a VM. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. So that'll be its own little adventure. But meanwhile, it's a good wrapping point for lunch. Uh, I think I saw something come on here. Okay, so there is some other coding on. Actually, it doesn't matter. But that's what I'm usually on. And, uh, bye.